Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York at NYC Resistor. This is uh, one of the, well, I don't wanna say older because that implies something, but it's a well-established makerspace in New York. And we're gonna talk to Adam- Mayer. Mayer. Hey. Adam Mayer. Uh, Adam, you, you're a member of NYC Resistor. True. Uh, what do you guys do here? Um, Let's explain what this is before we go any further. Okay, so this is a hackerspace, and what we do here is we hack on stuff. We build things, we share ideas, uh, we collaborate to build essentially whatever comes into our heads. Okay. Um, we're a member-supported space primarily, but we also teach classes here, so we have, uh, we have some educational outreach. We teach people to solder, we teach people to do basic electronics, use Arduinos, uh, use a laser cutter, and uh, provide resources for people to build things. So it's literally a space to come and, and take the thing that's in your head, make it real, and there are hopefully people here that can kind of help you along the way and give guidance. Uh, we're here on, on Thursday night, it's craft night, which mm -hmm. doesn't mean needlepoint and, and knitting although, and all that it necessarily. Can. It could, it can. yeah. Um, but it seems like everybody, there's a little bit of everything going on here. There's, there's uh, well, some soldering, there's some people doing stuff with yeah, programming and all sorts of different stuff. There's some pure software, a lot of people working on electronics. Uh, we have people who do all kinds of, like knitting and, and sewing is actually something that people do here sometimes. Okay. Uh, some paper craft, um, and a lot of repairing ancient machinery and generally just having fun. Can you take us on to show, show us around the space? Sure, uh, let's Great. start right here. This is our um, our ancient and storied laser. It's about, oh, cripes, closing in on four years old now. I read about you guys on the internet. Oh no. Yes, the ah, internet. That eh? internet, God, giving away oh. all our secrets. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this is our uh, old epilogue. We've had several businesses start out of the fact that we have a laser available. So when people wanted had something they wanted to try rather than go out and spend, yeah. at the time, 15, 20 grand on a laser cutter, exactly. they could come join NYC Resistor or just yeah. well, we make actually, friends. Yeah, well, we have classes where we teach people to use a laser. And then on Monday nights, we actually have laser night where people who've taken the classes can just come and use a laser. Oh, fantastic. And also people come on Thursdays as well. But okay. You can get a sort of a sense for the sort of things that people do here from, <laughs> from, from, from the remnants. Yeah. So you've got a bit of everything. You've got, you know, all kinds of oh, crazy wow. shapes, logos, you know, machinery, wheels within wheels. Okay. You know, when you see a lot of fingers like this, someone's been building a box. Well, what's this guy over here? It's looks like a big plotter. This is, um, this is an old um, large format printer that uh, I think we've gotten to work at least twice. Okay. So I, I don't quite remember where it came from. Someone donated it. A lot of equipment just ends up here. It, in a past um, life, my job was to maintain one of these and I really, really detested it. It was a horrible, awful machine. The, uh, eight hours upon hours upon hours. I'm glad I was able to help you relive that. Yeah, thanks. Experience. Thanks for bringing that back to me. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go. Uh, let's go see what else you guys All have right. in here. So this is our front room. This is where most of the actual work goes on. Um, just whatever random LED projects that tend to be hanging around. It's also well, one second. Um, so it's also kind of our little message board. So you leave messages here for each other, or just uh, you know, kind of troll. Time, um, it's mostly whatever. trolling, actually. Okay. Uh, we, we'd like to, you know, believe that this was a usable message system that allows us to easily contact each other, but it's mostly for people to uh, make fun of each Leave other. Leave offensive remotely. messages and mock each other. Yeah, yeah, uh, of yeah course. essentially. Normal stuff. Yeah. A well-stocked uh, refreshment area. Yeah, um, if you need either ramen or electronics, we've got you covered. I like that there's Arduinos and, and yeah, that's fantastic. Yes, there's FDI cables, a lot of Teensies. Actually, Teensies are probably our biggest seller right now. They're low cost and I'm not sure if you've used, you've used them, but I, I haven't, no. They're, uh, they're very convenient, like you can just implement almost any USB device just on one of those. Fantastic. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. Cool. This is, right now this table is a whole mess of in-progress projects. Well, it's, the, it's a couple of days before Maker Faire, so I yeah. assume that people are in, in the midst of doing things. This is an auto pipetting machine. Oh, this wow. This was from a bio lab that uh, didn't need it anymore. And this happens to us a lot. Like people just bring ridiculous ancient pieces of equipment uh, along that they no longer have a need for and say, hey, do you want an enormous robot that weighs like 500 pounds and you know, <laughs> is almost impossible to control and can split your head open like a grape? And we're like, sure, I can't it. fit it in my garage, yeah. so here you go. Yeah, basically. So what are you gonna use this guy for? We're not, we have so many ideas, but the fact of the matter is this guy's kind of hard to control. Um, we haven't quite gotten the servo loops right on this because the, it's all like torque-based drivers. This, this robot's awaiting love. You could make an enormous 3D printer out of this. We could, and that's yeah. been considered actually. We can make a, a really large scale and kind of slow and inefficient pick-and-place machine. Oh, that like sounds there's, good. There's yeah. tons of things. Or yet another drink mixing robot because that's what we like to do as well. I mean, you got to have your priorities, right? Yes. Really, at, at some point or another, everyone who's a member of Resistor had a room or an entire apartment, in, in my case, that looked like this. Yeah. There's a pile of art, that. mess, and you don't want to live like that. It's a, it's a miserable way to exist. Uh, so Resistor, at least initially to, for some of us, was a way to consolidate our resources, our tools, so we didn't have to live like that. Mm -hmm. And then we also had, you know, this is what we call Sharesville. This is all 
shared parts and bits that we can just use for projects. Stuff that you're putting out right. for anybody who needs it to, to Exactly. Use. And so great. once you have that critical mass of parts, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to sit there and every time you start working on a project and say, oh my God, do I have all the parts for this? And then like <laughs> get three hours into it and realize I'm missing that capacitor. I'm going to have to wait until it arrives from DigiKey or I have to go to Radio Shack or something. No, it's all here. Well, a lot of times you just kind of, when you have the parts here, then you can come in and look and say, okay, what can I do with this and this and this and this and this? Mm -hmm. And Precisely. kind of come up with something that you may not have come up with otherwise. Right. I mean, it's just, it, stuff just appears sometimes. Like here we've got this little, apparently at one point, a distance measurement unit. Who knows exactly how it works? Wow. But um, right now it's it's basically, it is a, uh, it's an XC tube clock waiting to there happen. There you go, yeah. yeah. And fairly easy to use. Very cool. Uh, so you have some more equipment that's kind of uh, available for members and I guess other people if they're coming in and learning stuff yeah. to use? Yeah, I mean, we, we, some stuff here is, you know, like we don't, back here we've got, you know, mills, we've got um, Normal blades. Metal. But this is not stuff we let most people just walk in and use because uh, we really like people with fingers. How many fingers do I have? Yeah. Yes, exactly. And uh, it's a shame that, you know, we don't have shop class in schools anymore, which means that people don't have the experience of knowing somebody who's lost five fingers or three fingers or whatever. Right. Um, you don't learn to put the chuck, take the chuck out anymore. Right. Yeah. And so it's it's pretty, we, we, know, we don't have the ability just to say, oh, hey, go back to Tool Town and, you know, just make sure you leave with most of your parts. Yeah. And, you know, you can't do that. A lot of this material, again, is, is stuff that people are just getting rid of. Um, yeah. It's astonishing just how much, even in a density like New York, people have just uh, at some point acquired and don't know what to do with. Uh, and part of the sad truth is uh, when it gets down to tools, um, you used to have a lot of machine tools in every school in America. Mm -hmm. And those shop classes closed down and all those tools are just floating around and people well, want to get rid of them. I mean, in California, you can get a, a, a full full size standing drill uh, a mill, vertical mill, mm -hmm. for a few hundred bucks sometimes. Like it costs yeah. more to, to, to go to get a truck it. and move it than it does to actually get the mill. So. Yeah. Um, if you have a big garage, you can do that. But if you don't, then hackerspaces are a great place for yeah. that. Yeah, and more importantly, like you have a big garage and you use it like you know two hours a yeah. year. What's the point? Yeah. But if you have it accessible to other people, if other people can come to your garage and use your tool, then your tool is you know multiplied in value immensely. And I just want to say the laser cutter is everywhere. There are laser cut signs. Somebody at some point went crazy with laser cutters back here. It's a wonderful tool. And the thing about wonderful tools is once you learn to really use them, uh -huh. um, every problem suddenly can collapse into you know. If you only have a hammer, everything's a nail. But if you have a hammer and a drill and a mill and a laser, suddenly every problem or every situation collapses into you know this whole multitude of possible approaches. And of course, you have to adapt your you know what you're going to create yeah. to the approach. But um, best tool for the right those, job, right? But yeah. having all those tools available completely alters the way you approach everything because it's no longer a matter of like, oh, I have to you know, do this horrible thing and make this thing look like this. Suddenly you have you have a, a palette. Well, it's much easier to do that than to, with a laser cutter than a jigsaw. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic, Adam. Thank you so much for showing us around NYC sure. Resistor. Uh, we'll be back with more from Tesla later. I'm Will. See you guys later. <laughs>